Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor. Today I'm going to talk about hit and run or leaving the scene of an accident. Now the definition is there has to be an accident, regardless of who's at fault, there's an accident, and that the person fails to remain at the scene or fails to give notice in a conspicuous, conspicuous spot. That's like leaving a note on somebody's windshield. Or they fail to exchange information. That means they get out, maybe they have an argument and the person drives away. Now the punishment. If this accident involves death or serious physical injury and the person is at fault for the accident who left, they, they are facing probation with zero days in jail up to a year in jail or prison of three to 12.5 years in prison. Now, if the accident was not caused by the person who left, for example, you're sitting at a red light, motorcyclist flies up behind you, hits you, flips over, dies, and yet you look behind and you just take off. Well, you're still leaving the scene of a, uh, of a serious injury accident and you're facing probation with zero days in jail up to a year in jail or prison of two to 8.75 years. Now, if there is no serious physical injury and there's an accident, it can be probation with zero days in jail up to a year in jail, uh, year in jail or prison of six months to two and a half years. And if there's no injury at all, just your typical fender bender and a person leaves, they're facing a misdemeanor. That's probation with zero days in jail up to six months in jail. Now, the defenses. The most common defense is no knowledge of the accident, meaning there's only a bump and you didn't realize as you're backing out of a parking space. The other is you thought you hit something on the roadway, like a, something in the road you bumped over when in reality you came into contact with another car that was behind you. Or you struck something, you thought, whoa, that was a coyote, or uh, what just happened, or I just got waved by, or there was just debris in the roadway, when in reality it was another person. That is the defense. Now, one other defense is necessity. That's when a road rage is occurring, uh, or it's a lone female in a really bad area and she doesn't want to get out and she's really nervous and instead she just takes off and makes the mistake of not calling 911 to report it. Now, the reasonable person standard is the key. Was it reasonable for why the person left or did the person think they had exchanged enough information? Even if this all comes into play, we can still engage in what's called a misdemeanor compromise, negotiate with the alleged victim and have them say, yes, this amount of money will fix my car. I am satisfied. They sign a misdemeanor compromise and a covenant not to sue. We give that to the court and we can get the misdemeanor charges dismissed. Many times we can also get felonies dismissed when we do the misdemeanor compromise. Now, if you go to our victory section and our website, you'll see we have a lot of wins. If this situation applies to you, call us or go to dmcantor.com and contact us and set for a free initial consultation.